A hundred and eight bucks for a month of cable? You gotta be kidding me. Welcome to Takei's Take. I love television, but I only really watch a handful of shows. So why do I have to pay for the whole package? It's like being locked into a 10 course meal when all I want to eat is the prime rib and cheesecake. That's why I'm considering getting rid of cable altogether. It's called cutting the cord. What have I just done? I've joined the more than 1.8 million people who have already cut the cord in the last year. What does cord cutting mean anyway? No, it's not quite that violent. Cord cutting means using on-demand services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Instant to circumvent the cable companies. You can watch what you want, when you want. Fascinating. There are a variety of devices out there right now that turn your boring television into an internet-enabled starship. Live long and prosper. And don't complain about my food. Let's start with Apple TV. It's a device that costs around $100 and lets you download shows and movies from iTunes as well as a bunch of different services, including Netflix and Hulu. This is very classic Apple. Very simple design, but not a ton of customization. If you want to geek out a little more, <laughs> you probably want to go with something like the Roku, also around $100, which has more apps than Apple TV and thus more options to find your content. Even Google has jumped into the game. For a measly 35 bucks, you get this tiny device. It allows you to instantly stream movies, TV shows, and music to your television. All right, time to bring in YouTube star and cord-cutting lifer, Ro Pansino. Thanks for having me. So tell me, should I cut the cord? Because right now, I'm not totally convinced. That is a really good question. I personally have never had cable. I went from using like basic antenna when I was growing up and watching PBS right into college where I was watching online programming for free. It seems like I'm gonna have to jump from place to place to get what I want. How much is this all gonna cost me? Well, it's actually really affordable. Basic cable generally costs about $70 a month and then Netflix is $7.99 and then Hulu is about $10, so that's $17 compared to $70. It's the holiday season. If you want to get a loved one a cord-cutting device, what would you recommend? I would be getting them a smart TV. I think that that is the best thing for someone who's just starting cord cutting mm -hmm. because the smart TVs, what they have now on their menu are different apps. So you, just like cable, like you take your remote to click the cable button and you see your cable menu of all your shows. You can just take your smart TV remote and you can click Hulu, Netflix, Amazon, whatever you want to watch and it's just all there. And I really like it because it just brings you don't have to jump around as much. Everything's all in one spot on the TV. That's terrific. Ro, you've been very helpful. Thank you. Uh, for sharing all this information with us. As Ro said, there are pros and cons to cutting the cord. It can cost less and give you instant on-demand access to thousands of shows and movies. But cutting yourself off from cable completely can be a hassle and it does mean giving up stuff like football, and local news. What do you think? Are you ready to cut the cord? Have you done so already? If not, what's keeping you from making the switch? Tell me in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe to Decay's Take. We are on YouTube right now, you know. Yeah, yeah, we are, <laughs> yeah. And if, you, if you've started cord cutting, people may be watching this right now. Great, that's <laughs> terrific. Groovy. And have you seen the newspaper recently? They're thinning faster than a hairline.